Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you this lovely card that uses a simple masking technique and multiple blending brushes. This card was made with the In the Moment stamp set and has some wonderful sketched images along with sentiments. So let me set this aside and I'll show you how I got started. Okay, I have stamped my image twice onto some masking paper or sticky notes and I've trimmed around them. Now on this one you might want to trim straight out otherwise you're going to be ha going to have to be careful and I'll show you that in a moment. I'm going to bring in my image again and I'm going to ink that up with the memento and I'm going to stamp it onto my basic white cardstock. Now I'm going to be careful to go almost to the edge on the bottom of this and lift. I need to allow that to dry so I can bring in my blending brushes. And I'm going to take first my detailed mask for the bottom and set it here on the image. I want to make sure I'm lining up that black line with the black line on the rail. Better to have a little more of the rail showing than not in this case, and I've got that adhered down with that temporary adhesive. I'm going to pick up my pool party in my blending brush touch, and then I'm going to blend. Now, I don't need to go all the way to the edges. I just want this color to kind of float on here. Okay, that's looking pretty good. And so I can carefully remove this mask. There we go. I've got my water in place and I'm ready to work on the top. So I'm going to bring in my girl again. This time the one I cut out on top. Line up the wine glass, her hat. This has got a lot of delicate pieces, so you need to make sure you're laying it down flat. Now this is what I'm referring to as far as the rail goes. So I'm actually going to take my other piece and lay it just on top of that so that I don't come down too far. I'm going to bring in my Calypso Coral and I'm going to start by tapping and working my way on my mask just working my way around the figure. And then I'm going to bring in my So Saffron and hold that in place again, and this time do the top and kind of blend them together to smooth it out. I'm ready to remove my mask, and I've got this lovely image close to the water with a beautiful sunset, and I'm ready to start building my project. Okay, I'm going to bring in my card base now, and I'm going to set my designer series paper to the left on the score line so that I know where I'd like to stamp. And I'm going to ink up my sentiment with the memento and stamp in the bottom right-hand corner. And then I'm ready to start assembling. For the assembly, I'm going to adhere my designer series paper down on that left. You can fold on that score line if you would like before you adhere this so that you can see things better. And let me go ahead and do that for you. And these seagulls just coordinate with the stamp, I thought, in that beautiful color. And then I'm going to bring in my Blushing Bride and I'm going to adhere this down flat. right above the sentiment. Next, I'm going to adhere my image onto the So Saffron. And then I'm going to flip that over and add some dimensionals. I'm going to remove the backings and adhere that right in the center of that Blushing Bride panel. There we go, soft and pretty. Last but not least, I'm going to bring in some of these beautiful, elegant, faceted gems. Now you have a choice between the petal pink, the clear, and the vanilla that you can use on this. And I think I'm going to take the petal pink here. I'm going to pop 
one of those next to the sentiment. Take another one and set it down here in this corner. And then I think I'm going to take a small one and just set it up here for a little bit of sparkle on the image. And of course you can scatter a few more around if you would like. That's it, it's that quick and simple. I think you're really going to enjoy masking with this multicolor blender brush technique for a striking image. And of course, if you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there for my blog, Stamp with Jenny. Thanks for joining me.